Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word. And we've made our way uh, to the end of this first section, chapters 8 and 9 of Proverbs. 8 setting up 9 uh, because wisdom is going to be speaking towards wisdom and folly. Um, the reality uh, towards the two ways of the walk that we have in life. And so you get to see in chapter 8 of Proverbs, you get to see wisdom personified um, comes into this personality, comes into this speaking, this voice, this direction. Um, we get to see alone that uh, within wisdom personified, uh, we get to see later into the scriptures uh, that this is none other than the words of God, which is the word of God that became flesh and dwells among us. Uh, we get to see wisdom speaking, uh, which is Christ, which is Jesus himself. And so as we get to see um, uh, the play back and forth um, of, yes, this is wisdom through the Proverbs. We get to see it as wise, um, right? Wisdom is the beginning. The uh, beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord, um, is the awe, is the worship, is the honor of the Lord and actually being uh, in his direction, in his will. That's where wisdom is going to align you with. And then the folly we get to see um, in the next chapter come back tomorrow um, for us to be able to walk forth in that distinction, contrast between wisdom, wise, and folly. Chapter 8, Wisdom's Call. Um, and as we have this call to us, um, we have the understanding that it had through generations. Um, better than silver or gold is the way of wisdom. Uh, better than, better than, better than, um, because it's the way of the Lord. Wisdom's Call, chapter 8, verse 1, it says, Does not wisdom call out? Does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights along the way where the paths meet, she takes her stand. Beside the gates leading into the city, at the entrances, she cries aloud. To you, O men, I call out. I raise my voice to all mankind. You who are simple, gain prudence. You who are foolish, gain understanding. Listen, for I have worthy things to say. I open my lips to speak what is right. My mouth speaks what is true, for my lips detest wickedness. All the words of my mouth are just. None of them is crooked or perverse. To the discerning, all of them are right. They are faultless to those who have knowledge. Choose my instruction instead of silver. Knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Uh, that verse 10 and 11 really uh, speaks towards the personification, not only pushing us towards the way of the kingdom of God, but uh, more precious than rubies and gold and silver, um, right? Solomon knew this. Solomon writing these proverbs. Um, Solomon asked for this wisdom rather than the riches of this world, rather than the things of this world. Um, we get to see that he asked for wisdom, and in that wisdom, he gained the understanding that God gave to him for the kingdom. Now it gets personal as wisdom cries out. Verse 12, it says, I, wisdom, dwell together with prudence. I possess knowledge and discretion. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior, and perverse speech. Counsel and sound judgment are mine. I have understanding and power. By me, kings reign, and rulers make laws that are just. By me, princes govern, and all nobles who rule on earth. I love those who love me, and those who seek me find me. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. My fruit is better than fine gold. What I yield surpasses choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness, along the paths of justice, bestowing wealth on those who love me, and making their treasuries full. Did you catch that? Um, uh, the reality towards more valuable than all these precious jewels and gold and silver um, is to have this wisdom, to have this understanding, to have this fear of the Lord. 
And as you have that wisdom and that understanding, that fear of the Lord, all of a sudden it puts you into place, into vocations to be able to succeed, to be able to actually prosper. And when you succeed and prosper in this world, guess what comes with that is that wealth and that choice silver and that gold. Um, Not saying that, hey, I follow the Lord, so I'm going to be rich. No, Um, I follow the Lord. I have wisdom and the knowledge of the kingdom of God um, that puts me into a right path to be able to walk in this world. It might just have the ramifications of having this great honor and wealth and prosperity, Um, but the way of righteousness, the path of justice. Verse 22 says, The Lord brought me forth as the first of his works before his deeds of old. I was appointed from eternity, from the beginning, before the world began. This is where we get to see that connection with Christ, right? When there were no oceans, I was given birth doesn't actually personify Jesus because um, while he was birthed, he was not created. Um, But when there was no oceans, I was given birth. When there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains were settled in place, before the hills, I was given birth. Before he made the earth or its fields or any of the dust of the world, I was there when he set the heavens in place, when he marked out the horizon on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above and fixed securely the fountains of the deep when he gave the sea its boundary so the waters would not overstep his command and when he marked out the foundations of the earth then i was the craftsman at his side i was filled with delight day after day rejoicing always in his presence rejoicing in his whole world and delighting in mankind now then Because, not just wisdom, but wisdom personified, we get to see the Trinity at work, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the creation of the world, but the character of God and the knowledge and wisdom of God was there before he spoke, before he created. And so we get to see here the development of God's character, God's uh, personification of who he is. He is wisdom. He is understanding. He does put things into place for the benefit of creation. He does send his only son, Jesus Christ, into creation. Even though it is before creation, wisdom comes forth through him. Verse 32, Now then, my sons, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise. Do not ignore it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. For whoever finds me, finds life, and receives favor from the Lord. But whoever fails to find me, harms himself. All who hate me, love death. As you get to see, wisdom is the way of the Lord. Folly is the way of the world. This says, find me, seek me. This is talking to wisdom. This is talking about that word of God, the kingdom of God coming forth. Seek first his kingdom and all these things will be added to you as well. A personification of chapter 8. Wisdom calling out. Wisdom leading us the way the kingdom of God always present before us. Walking in it brings about the things of God. Walking in the ways of this world brings about the way of folly and brings about the way of sin, and bring about the ways of death. Joshua put it this way. Choose for yourself this day. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Called out by wisdom, seeking understanding, walking in the kingdom of God, walking in the way of the Lord. And that way of the Lord is none other than than Jesus Christ, who has sent his spirit upon us so that we walk by the spirit rather than flesh. As for me, in my life, in my household, in my ways, this is my prayer this day. I will serve the Lord. May that be your prayer as well, as we walk in the kingdom, in his wisdom, in his understanding, in the way of Jesus this day. And this day, walking in the way of Jesus, yeah, that's a blessed day, as it says at the end of chapter 8. To that we say, thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.